Okay, so for the next job, Selenium Wolf's son, Hunter, uh, did not make it to AP English. So instead of accepting the fact that his son is probably not smart enough or driven enough to uh, get into the advanced class, he's going to hack it <laughs> and put him into the class anyway. Uh, yeah, of course. So we're going to hack into the high school's network and change Hunter's schedule to make it so that he's taking AP English instead of regular English. So execution agent A is going to come in here. He's currently got in file 300, then the words English and AP English. File 200 here has the, the, the itinerary of all classes that are available. The first line is their time slot that it's available in, and then the second one is the name of the class. Hunter is always specifically uh, in grade 11, and I think he's file 235. I guess we'll double check that. So what we do is we come through here and we drop off an agent here that has the we send over the name AP English and he's going to read through the directory to find the first time slot that AP English is available. Uh, I think yes. Note that AP English will only be offered once and every other class will be offered no more than twice. This is important for avoiding loops. Uh, but so there's only going to be one AP English entry in here. So our XA0 agent is going to go through this file until he finds it. In the meantime, XA is going to head over and grab Hunter's file, which I'm correct, it was 235. He's going to find Hunter's schedule. He's going to find English and we're going to block. We're going to blank that out. So we're going to go through English is in, in th at 1315. We're going to turn that. We're going to turn it into a zero. Then we're going to wait for XA0 to come back with what time is AP English being offered. I think it's pretty late in the day, so we'll let this go. It's offered at 14.05. So we send over like, hey, AP English is available at 14.05. Uh, let me send that over to you, XA, let you know like, hey, here, here's a time block for 14.05. Does that work for you? Uh, XA is going to compare that against its X register. At the very beginning here, the X register is the word English. So no matter what, it's not going to match. So we'll be like, oh, yeah, that works for me because we haven't scheduled anything. So what we end up doing is we we tell you, OK, that works for me. And then we go through to that time block we were, we were just given, which he has to send it back to me because I didn't want to replace my X until we were sure. Now it's 1405. We're then going to go to the beginning of our file and we're going to look for the time block for 1405. Uh, it's at the very end, so we go through. 1405, we have found it. Now, we're going to see what class we're replacing with AP English, US History. And then we'll go back and we'll change that to AP English right there. But now we need to reschedule US History into his, into his schedule here. So we send over to our reader of the itinerary uh, of the schedule, I guess the, the roster of the class. I don't know what the word is for this. Uh, does it say? A full list of classes is, so the list. Uh, we'll send over, we need a new time slot for US history. So XA0 will now go through the file from the beginning and look for a new slot for US history. It looks like there's gonna be one available at 1225. So we'll send over 1225 to the guy with the schedule saying, hey, does 1225 work? Well, we didn't just schedule in four, we just scheduled in 1405. So 1225 works because it's not the one we just scheduled. So we're like, okay, that works. And then we'll go, we'll find 1225 in Hunter's schedule, which is health. And we're gonna replace it with US history. But now once again, we have just replaced health. So now we need a new block, a new time block for health. So we'll go to the guy with the list and say, give me a new time to take health. We find one at 905 and we send that over. Uh, 905, we just scheduled a class in 1225, so 905 works for us, it's not a, it's, we're not looping. So then we say, okay, 905 works, we'll go to the 905 class block and we're gonna replace it. Now it is, we're replacing physics with health. Now we need to find physics. So we go through the list again, give me a physics block. This time we find the 905 physics block that we just replaced. And this guy doesn't know that we just replaced that time, so he's going to say, oh, does 905 work? XA is going to be like, no, 905 doesn't work because we just took that off of the schedule. We don't want to put it back on the schedule. We just took it off. So we're going to say, no, that doesn't work. Get me the next block for physics. So there's another physics block it looks like over here at 955. So he's going to be like, okay, does 955 work? Uh, it does. So we're going to put 
physics in at 955. We're replacing precalculus here with physics. Now we need to find a new block for, for precalculus. We're going to go through. Uh, and we end up finding that 955 block of precalculus again, and he's gonna be like, oh, does 955 work? And the other guy's like, no, I just told you that. Uh, give me the next one. So he'll keep going, looking for another uh, precalculus one. Looks like there isn't one for until 1315. So we send over, does 1315 work? XA is like, yeah, well, that's not 955 right here. So he's going to be like, all right, so I'll go to, I'll find 1315 and I'll replace that one with precalculus. And you'll notice 1315 is where we had put our zero in to begin with. So when we copy in that new, that new class we need to replace, which is a zero now, uh, we put in precalculus. We will take a look at the fact that in our T register is not the class that we need is a zero. And because it's a zero, our T jump will say like, oh, we're done. We don't need another class. We have finally rearranged the schedule in a way that keeps all of the original classes and replaces English with AP English. So now what he, so he knows that we are done. XA zero does, does not know that we are done. He's currently looking for class zero. So he's never going to find that. Uh, XA knows that we're done, so he's going to drop the schedule because we we finished our work and he's going to head over and he's going to clean up the agent that was reading the list because he doesn't have any knowledge of when we're done. And then he's going to terminate himself and be done with it. And there you go. So we've got one guy that's reading the list and giving times and the other guy who is putting these these classes according to their time blocks into the schedule and then tracking like, do we need to reschedule another class until we have uh, ended up replacing uh, like where English had originally been with a class so that we've kept the, the integrity of the original like roster of classes. So I'll let that run through. And there you have it. Not quite at the very lowest part of the histogram, but you know what? That's, fi that's fine. <laughs> After the pain of the war dialer, I was like, this is good enough. I'm not, not hurting myself over this one. Uh, but yeah, so we've hacked the Department of Defense, we've hacked a school, we've hacked people's phones. What more is there for us to hack, huh? Oh, don't worry, there's there's a few more opportunities for it to get even more wild. Uh, but that was the sixth bonus campaign job. There's only three more left to go.